Welcome to clickmyproject.com. The project title is Preventing BDOS Attacks by Identifier and Locator Separation. Now going to explain the abstract. The main environment going to propose is distributed denial of service. This is a type of attack consists of both end target system and all systems maliciously controlled by the hacker or nothing called bot master. In existing system, they use a locator and identifier separator. It is mainly used to prevent, but in the proposed system, they are using to detect the attacked system. Now, going to explain the data flow diagram. The process starts with inserting the data set, considering a network data set, which contains HTTP request and the links. By using the data set, first we have to calculate the average and normal registration value. If it's calculated successfully, we can get the access matrix computation. Otherwise, we have to process the data set insertion process again. After access matrix computation, we have to calculate the principal component analysis. If it's successfully calculated, we can get the eigenvector. After eigenvector computation, we can apply it to the hidden semi Marco chain model training. In the hidden semi Marco chain model, uh, we get the entropy value, which is varied or not. We have to validate that. If it is varied, it's called the attacker system. Finally, the attacker system is detected successfully. Now, going to show the demo of the project. This is the title page of our project. Further, we are going to start the process. The first process considering the data set. For that, here we are going to load the data set to the database. Here, the containing the attributes are host, timestamp, HTTP request, and reply in the bytes. Now, going to count the values number of entries which is available in the data set. Going to calculate the average registration. By clicking the users button, we get the distinct users list and the uh, count of that number of users. Now going to calculate the average registration value based on the distinct users. After that going to calculate the access matrix. For that we have to form the table using HTTP requests and the number of requests and based on the number of users. By clicking the button we can get that. After that going to calculate the normal registration value for that table. After that based on these two we are going to calculate the access matrix which is shown here. The next process principal computation analysis for that we have to calculate average matrix difference matrix and covariance matrix after the whole formation we are going to calculate the eigen matrix based on the three ample matrices now going to apply the hidden semi marker chain model at training we have two st hidden states state 0 and state 1 and here we are calculating the discrete distributions finally we get the sequence probability and the entropy value this is then the threshold value based on this we are going to detect uh, here uh, the uh, host name ip address and the request are vacant now going to apply the entropy threshold value to all those things by detect button we can get the attacker system ip address finally we detect for uh, performance evaluation, by clicking this evaluation, we get the performance graph. The performance graph is takes place between the entropy value and the time consumption. The line which is showing that average weight, which is uh, drawn using the JPEG chart chart file. Now, going to show the demo of the project. For that process, here we are considering the login process with the help of a uh, server administration. Here, this process is mainly for preventing. In the previous process, we just detect the attacker. Uh, here, we are showing the real time environment where we can uh, prevent after detecting the uh, attacker IP address. First of all, we have to start the server and uh, here the user have to be initialized the service now the service started successfully now the user can uh, log in uh, the login process is the main process here for if the user is already registered and tried uh, for to enter into another user id means their uh, ids will be blocked their ip address also so for that here we can see that process here i'm trying to log in 
pipe gear drill is already blocked so I have to uh, first of all server have to be monitored and have to register with the another ID which is not try to more mod function so if I try to login means it will log in successfully and here have to server have to be monitored then if user want to create a new ID means here we have to register and here have to stop the server process and have to start the server process again to the new process and here have to register a new ID and if password is not matched means it has to re-enter the password so here yeah, I am entering if the IP address is already blocked means you have to register with the another IP address and here we are again in try to register and now user is registered successfully first of all have to start the server and have to initialize as before and here have to give the user id and password now the user is can log in successfully if they try to uh, log in again and again means uh, the server will block the login user which should try to malicious attacks 